Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another Black Series figure review today. We've got R2-D2 from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. This is a brand new figure, basically, brand new sculpt at least. Some of these are tools and accessories may be reused from a previous version, but uh, the beauty of this figure is that he has been remade to be a little bit more accurate in size. The previous iterations of R2-D2 since the inception of the Black Series, so for pretty much 10 years, he's been just slightly undersized. I never saw it as a problem. It was never a big issue for me. It was just, you know, I never, I was never too fussy about him being a little bit, little bit small. Um, but yeah, apparently this is a little bit more accurate in scale. He does look really nice. I'm excited to get this figure. I'll probably end up getting another one uh, when he comes out in the standard Black Series line for The Mandalorian. Um, you know, I don't know why they put him in any other packaging, but, you know, I guess he did appear in The Mandalorian. And Book of Boba Fett, that said. He's got the nice classic old Return of the Jedi card back, which is nice. Again, on the back, we've got Rebel Commando, which I have reviewed. Luke Skywalker will come when he arrives. Darth Vader, I have just reviewed him. Emperor's Royal Guard I'm going to pass on. I've already got a couple of Royal Guards I don't need anymore, so I'm good. I'm, I am good for for these. But yeah, he looks really nice on the card. I'm going to cut this open and we'll get in to have a look. And I do have a older R2-D2 here to compare him to, so we'll get, just a, we'll get a pretty good idea of uh, you know, the scale. So I don't think he's come with all of these attachments in the past. Again, could be wrong, but they're not ringing any bells, so. All right, so we'll go through his accessories. He does come with his little sensor scope. That's nicely detailed. Obviously, you will be able to pop one of the uh, lids off of R2 and replace it with this one, which is cool. So it's nicely detailed. This, this looks like the uh, cattle prod that he gets with... Uh, uh, maybe not. I can't remember. I was going to say it looks like the cattle prod that he shoots the Ewok with. It looks like a little hand holding a little gun. Pew, pew, pew. All right. <laughs> we have his scomp link tool. This he uses to uh, stick into computers. <laughs> so that's not too bad. Have his little, his little bump pincher there. We have his little, his little scanner from that he uses in Empire Strikes Back when he's in the Hoth base trying to scan, scan for Luke's whereabouts. So that's kind of nice. And lastly, we have another pinchy tool. So that's cool. So onto the figure. Let's take a look. I'm just going to uh, lower the camera down. Here he is. Nice looking sculpt. He's nice and solid. He definitely feels bigger than the, the first version. Paint looks good. Nice and clean. Interested to see how this bottom leg pulls it out this time. We'll, we'll get to that shortly. All right, so we do get this extra part here, which is nice. Um, you know, apparently this is how he is when he is docked in the N1 Starfighter. What I love about this is we have a place for all his spare tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in here because that's just a remarkable feature there. 
and actually a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting it. It's just as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's exactly what this figure needs. That is fantastic. So they look like they're all going to fit in reasonably well. And this one's just a little bit, a little bit sticky in there. But that's okay. Can't get them all in. They'll, they'll sit aside, that's fine. That's why I have an accessories box. But it looks like we'll get them all in there. So when you're not using these, I'll leave this one out for the moment. So that's really nice. I love that. You turn them around. And down, where we go. Right, so there's that little peg that I was talking about, and that one will just sort of sit in there so you can have that sort of sensor scope sort of picking up. And turn that around in there. But I think I will leave leave the cap on. Doesn't appear that any others are removable. Maybe this back one is. Yeah, the back one is. So yeah, it looks like it's just the two. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just use this. All right, so there we got three little grooves for two, three different tools. I'm going to assume we're gonna have something similar on this side. Being very cautious not to uh, split the figure, but there we go. We have three little arms on each. That is absolutely fantastic. Love that. So just a well put together little figure. This one. So the previous iteration used to wind down. Wind the head. There we go. It's just a simple getting your getting your fingers in those sort of side grooves, and we've got the leg that pops out, which you know has got to be built inside of this at some point. So when they do sort of all collapse together, yeah, that's just really nicely done. And that looks really good. Just a nice, classic looking R2-D2. Pop that leg back in there. Now we'll get a little bit of side-by-side -side action. So now I've got this is uh, the sculpt that's been used for 10 years. This is uh, the more sort of dirty one. Um, I can't remember exactly what when this one came out. This one might have been one of the multi-packs. But yeah, you can just sort of see the size difference there between the two. And yeah, it's 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 quite a difference. In the white on the new one, it's a it's, you know, less of a plasticky white in comparison to the old one. But all the details are there. Arguably, arguably a lot cleaner on the new one in terms of the paint, the shapes, the sculpt, the silver on the dome even looks better. Yeah, much, much improved in my opinion. Looks nice. The old one has actual wheels, whereas this one's just sort of sculpted on, which is a lot nicer. And this one did have the little flip open doors too, but just had the one tool that could switch out. And like I said, the uh, wind up wind up wheel. It served us well, served us well for a long time, but um, yeah, it's time for the uh, time for the new time for the new to come in. Just blown away by the uh, love the, the spot for the accessories. That's really really cool. We'll put that in there now that I've 
demonstrated it. I know they'll always be safe in there. R2 toolbox. I'm just looking over this thing, it looks nice. I would love to see in the future some rocket packs, rocket jets on the on the legs here to switch out, that'd be cool for a possible future like Attack of the Clones release, that'd be nice. You slightly retool the uh, legs. I guess this means all the droids are gonna get redone at some point as well. So there we have R2-D2, really, really nice, really great, great addition, good size, good detail.